There are two things which are of note in the Michelle Donnellan story. The first is that there's a tendency at the moment to find reds under the beds, to uh, assume that there's lots of smoke without any evidence of fire and that this means people are Islamicist rather than Islamic or supporting Islam. And there's nothing wrong with supporting Islam. Islamicist is so technical and so specific, there cannot be as much Islamicist activity in the United Kingdom as Rishi Sunak and his cronies are alleging. It's simply a fantasy. It's a very, very nasty um, turnaround. And Michelle Donnellan has... Uh, I, who is it now? Bunny Lamb has, uh, has sent in the comments. Please can you comment on Michelle Donnellan debacle regarding the UKRI suspending two academics without evidence on the strength of a report by the policy exchange. Should taxpayers have to pay restitution for such ignorant personal actions by the minister and should she remain in post? Well, she shouldn't remain in post anyway, but that's on the evidence of the uh, in, uh, inanity of her uh, performance uh, in the DCMS or whatever is left of the DCMS. She's facing calls to quit at the moment because uh, although she said she didn't take any payout when she stopped being Education Secretary, she was barely Education Secretary. She was Education Secretary for 30-odd hours, just over a day. Uh, and for that, under some of the rules, she is entitled to some sort of payout. What utter rot! And it's that level of rot when people are following the rules, when we know the rules don't work, when we know the rules are simply there to pander to a, a, a certain group of rule-following uh, sheep who, who have made up the rules themselves. These are, uh, th these are wolves in sheep's clothing who've made rules bleating around, meh, meh, bleating around, trying to pretend that these rules uh, serve anybody. They don't. They're self-serving rules. And there's lots of them running around in Westminster at the moment and in Whitehall, and they are a disgrace. We can't call these rules. Anyway, so she said, oh, 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 I'm not taking that money because that would be unfair. But she is quite happy to let the taxpayer, the government, us, pick up her 15,000 bill for the libel claim against her because she accused uh, academics of being members of Hamas or supporting Hamas, which is uh, simply, it, the, the evidence simply wasn't there. And their jobs were, I, I don't know whether they actually lost their jobs, but their jobs were certainly in danger. Um, Penny Mordaunt attempted to defend her. Why? Why? Uh, the leader of the House of Commons, Penny Mordaunt, uh, reminded us how she had turned down this golden goodbye in 2022. So what? <laughs> she'd been in the she'd been in the job for barely 24 hours uh, at the end of Boris Johnson's time as PM. Anybody who had a job in the last few days of Boris Johnson's regime uh, should be hanging their head in shame, uh, not um, uh, not 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 celebrating the fact they didn't take the payout. Um, she was she was due a payout of sixteen thousand pounds. Well, maybe she should have taken that payout. Maybe that payout could have paid off the 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 the, the libel issue. People say things, and then they regret them. Uh, the question is whether or not these academics did anything else to justify the claims which were made, and I don't think they did. Um, and so, therefore. Therefore, she should be, she should be stepping forward, not paying out fifteen thousand pounds from taxpayers' money, paying it out from her own money. But she has the position, and she has the opportunity to help these two academics, who she has uh, unjustifiably besmirched. It's helping rather than paying out, rather than following the rules which they have instituted, which the sheep, the, the wolves in sheep clothing, meh, have instituted. Stop following the rules and start doing what is morally right. And that's the issue. 
It's about a, a, a failure to do what is right. And that goes all the way through the present government, all the way through it. Um, so Professor Sang, uh, Kate Sang of Harriet Watt University, uh, she, she's, she, she's one of the people, and the other one is uh, Kamna Patel of University College London, uh, who, quote, shared extremist views. And uh, th this money was paid, quote, without admitting liability, without taking responsibility. That's what it actually means, without taking responsibility. Who cares if money is paid out if you're not going to put right what was wrong? So that's, you know, it's not an apology. It's not a fine what is it? It's some sort of bribe that we are paying to these people for what? Um, Michelle Donnellan should probably get off social media and should start doing her real job. If that's what she wants to do, do a real job. And she, she'd expressed disgust and outrage uh, that Professor Sang had ex had shared extremist views and offered sympathy for Hamas after the attacks in Israel on October the 7th. Uh, she claimed Dr. Uh, Kamna Patel of University College had also shared extremist views. But the reality was that they hadn't. The reality was that they hadn't. Now, Donnellan is quite right to share sympathy and concern for Israel uh, after the appalling atrocity on October the 7th. And we are right to be sharing sympathy and concern and ideally practical help for those people um, stuck in Gaza at the moment. We should also be sharing practical help and practical concern for those Israelis who have been displaced. But running around the place saying this person's uh, supporting Hamas, that person supporting Hamas without proof. That isn't the role of a minister. The role of a minister is, get, is to get on and do some practical good. And practical good, I think, in this particular case, goes beyond a payout without taking responsibility.